Lately, there's been a lot of developments in the Simp universe. There's been a couple of them that have bumped into each other and created a Simp Big Bang that created a pretty much renaissance in this. Or at least it would seem that way because there's some individual who is essentially a talking piece, a new face for this army of individuals. This guy basically is the biggest fan of Ruby Rose. If you don't know who Ruby Rose is, I'm not going to tell you because I don't want to burden you with that information. But he basically is someone who purports to have donated $30,000 to her online entrepreneur website. He's someone who has basically dedicated his life to her. He buys a bunch of gifts for her. He met her in person. And she ended up making a post online saying, this is my biggest supporter. He gave me $60,000, guys. Isn't that cool? Isn't that amazing? And of course, after seeing this, Everyone online, the hateocracy came together and said, you know what? This is disgusting. How could he do this? I'm outraged. Da da dee, da da da. She got a bunch of positive reinforcement because any attention is good attention. Guy comes back and says that I tattooed my leg. Look, guys, I actually tattooed my leg. That's how much I love this person. And at this point in time, I started thinking to myself, like, this doesn't seem legitimate for a number of reasons. First of all, most simps just steal money from their parents. This guy seems to be a legitimate businessman. Also, just looking at the guy, he looks like a alternate version of Action Bronson. I don't really think he looks like someone who actually dabbles in this. But now I've seen something that basically tells me, like, this is just publicity stunt. Like, you're literally regarded if you think this is real. And that's this guy basically texting this individual of course because you would have this person's actual number saying that you know i love you you're the best you're the best and he gets to the point at one point in time in the text conversation where he says if you reply to this message i'll give you 10 bitcoins i swear i'll give you 10 bitcoins and i see people online saying oh my god that's crazy how could he do this why would he lower his self-esteem to that level I mean, I'm going to be honest, there's enough cringe out there with Boogie2988 and people of that ilk that you don't need to fake it. I'm sorry, Tommy C. I'm sorry, Daddy Keemstar. Hey, yo, what the fuck? It's obvious that this is not real. If you actually believe this guy was offering 10 bitcoins, and if you actually think this woman had enough self-restraint not to reply, you're in a different universe of gullible. But this is an interesting campaign because this is basically someone who saw the Adam22 hype train of taking your self-respect and throwing it in the toilet and letting everyone laugh at you and using that for monetary gain. I don't know if this guy is dating Ruby Rose. I don't know if he's just a friend of Ruby Rose. I don't know if he was just paid or asked to do this entire bit. But it's pretty obvious that this guy is just acting weird as opposed to being weird. And it seems like people on the internet are too big of normies to understand what exactly it means to act regarded instead of being regarded. But at the end of the day, he's able to get his stuff off. He's able to get some gullible people, hill coin and sinker. And there's not much I can say other than I wish I was this guy. At the end of every single video, make sure you ask people to rate and subscribe to your content. It makes them feel like they're involved even though they're really not. And most importantly, make sure they comment on every single video. If you have to, disguise it. You know, call it something like the question of the day. And really make them think you're going to really read it when you really don't have to. Ha ha ha!